hi in this video i am going to show you how you can create a docker containers using terraform so without wasting time i will just let you do the my code um where it is in cd data docker if i do ls i will open this file docker.tf as you can see okay so i have commented out these things uh because i don't require it okay so here the main thing is provider provider is docker and in resource we are first pulling the image from the docker image we are pulling the image nginx alpine and then we are going to create the container using the resource create container we can provide any name here i'm providing nginx hyphen server and the image which is this uh, docker image dot the name which we are providing and the latest tag it will pull uh, latest version of this nginx.111 have an alpine image and uh, below that we are opening the port port 80 we will export this port 80 and uh, now here i am attaching the volume and content the path would be the user share nginx html default path for the nginx document directory and i am attaching my slash data directory as a volume to this container and this would be the read only for the containers so let's quickly initiate our terraform code and, and let's see how we can create the uh, docker containers from the terraform okay so let's run terraform in it now it is initializing provider and plugins okay quickly clear the screen control l and now we will show terraform plan it must be so quick and fast because it is not on the cloud it is on my local system so here you can see it is now going to create it is creating container nginx hyphen server and uh, it is doing all these things which we have provided very minimal so uh, we have not provided in detail so most of the things will be known after the apply so it is now exporting the port 8080 to the public and attaching this volume okay so let's do the terraform apply if i hit without auto approve it will again show the same output as this plan let's check and it will ask for our confirmation whether we should apply this or not so below down here i will say yes okay now it is creating the image pulling the image mm, still 10 seconds it has taken 10 seconds now 20 seconds and now in 21 seconds it has pulled this image and have created the container very quickly okay so let's check i uh, will clear this screen bring it to middle and we will check first we will check what image it has pulled so docker images so as you can see it has pulled nginx alpine image of latest one okay the size is very minimal it's 54.3 mb only and now if i see docker ps which container is running now you can see the container is running uh, it's going out of the window so let me quickly bring it to the screen here okay so i will run ps again now as you can see it has exported our port 80 on port 32771 so 
let's quickly go to browser and check our nginx what is my ip my ip is 192.168.56.103 colon 32 what was the port it was 32771 32771 docker.tf now it is downloading the file docker.tf let's quickly open this file there must be our code okay here we go the same the telephone code which i had shown you okay so quickly uh, we will get inside the container docker exe have an id for intermediate uh, the container id and we won't be having bash so let's try whether we have bash no we don't have bash prompt so we will try with sh yeah we do have sh prompt let's ls go to the user share nginx html and we will ls so you can see we have one docker folder docker directory docker.tf file which we had just downloaded and docker tf state file uh, version.tf file if I switch to the browser and paste here version.tf file so it will download the version.tf file as well if we open it there must be uh, version uh, 0.112 for the terraform I'm using let's switch to container and let's try to remove this file as we are read only permission so it must not allow us yes so it's saying it's a read only file system okay so control d we are out of the docker container docker ps our container is up and running since last five minutes so now we will do some changes and uh, before that we will do Okay, so Terraform destroy it's completed and uh, let's check docker ps we don't have any container nothing is there so now let's open our file docker.tf file and last time we had imported uh, exported this port 80 so now we will explicitly provide the port for the external and let's check uh, 8088 and here uh, what we'll do we will do this directory the docker and docker.tf file here on index2.html so and what we'll do this read only will be false now let's quickly apply this clear the screen terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto approve now it will uh let's change this port number 32323 that must not be the issue now applying the changes fetching the image file now creating container and now it's done it's this time it is very quickly uh we have docker images now there's the image and then docker ps hyphen a as you can see now we have the port 32323 three, two, three. uh let's quickly attach to this container have an id and the container id is 44 p 6 is enough and sh prompt okay now we are inside the container let's go to slash user share nginx and html now here must be the docker directory with the d capital okay so in this index dot two we must be having the docker code here as we have attached this docker directory here where we had the code okay let's control d to get out of this container and if i show you pwd we are in the slash data docker and uh, if i do the cat my docker dot file 
we will be having our code the latest one 32323 the port we change and the index.html go to the current browser and change the port it's 32323 3. now we can you can see this is our code okay so if i do the index.html yeah there you can see nginx is welcoming us uh docker ps hyphen a now what we can do we can check our read only access on this container let's quickly attach to this container okay cd slash user share nginx html so what i will do i will try to rename this index 2.html to index.html now it is showing you can't because the resource is busy okay if i try to create some directory here mkdir uh writing now we can create the container here and as we have set this to false so we can write this so let's destroy this uh, get out of the container and run the terraform this try hyphen hyphen auto approve so we don't have any container running now okay so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and if i was too fast then you can you can reduce the speed in this player okay see you next time bye bye